Before we get started in today's video, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Asus Viewbook S14 S435, powered by Intel Evo. Having sponsors on this channel and on any of my platforms actually gives me the ability and freedom to create this awesome content for you guys. So yeah, thanks to Intel for sponsoring this video. Good morning, fellas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're doing another day in the life today. Actually, I haven't done one of these in forever, but I was feeling it this morning, you know, so today is a very typical day in the life for me. It's very podcast focused, I will say. Like, every day kind of differs as a content creator. I would consider myself like a running influencer, which is um, kind of cringe to say out loud, but I guess when I, when I explain my job, that's what I explain myself as doing. So, yeah, I'm a running influencer. What can I say? But yeah, we've got a lot of a lot of content creation on deck. We got some running in there. There's a lot of stuff going on. So I woke up about an hour ago, super late because I was up super late. So I woke up at like 10.30, which is cringe. Um, I, I hate waking up that late. I don't like it. I like to be productive in the morning, but you know, when you go to bed super late, watching the Olympic trials and then staying up FaceTiming your sister gets in the way of things, okay? Okay, so let's just start off the day. Let's get into it. All right, now we're in the voiceover part of the video, so you know it's getting serious. Okay, so for breakfast, having some oatmeal and taking my supplements, it's like vitamin D and ashwagandha and my beam tablets, and then, yeah, having oatmeal for breakfast, which I'm back on my oatmeal game, all right? It's the best breakfast, and I need to get back into my routine. And then we hit the bathroom because we are doing our skincare routine. Yeah, you heard that right, okay? No more splashing water on my face. Now I actually have a skincare routine because I'm 24 and I need it. And we're spraying ourselves with perfume, putting on the deodorant, smelling nice. And I look really unamused in these clips, but I promise you, I was having a great morning, okay? I don't, maybe I should look happier next time. Changed about five times. Whoops, can't decide on one thing. There's the little OTD, messy apartment. And I grabbed my Asus Vivo book S14, S435, and I put it in my bag. I don't even need the charger, honestly, because the battery life is so good. And then we head straight to a coffee shop. As an entrepreneur, I love working in coffee shops. Just being surrounded by people, I just don't like really like like working alone so being in coffee shops is great and I like to see the sights on the way over there then I start to decide what am I gonna get what am I feeling latte cold brew what are we feeling and then I really awkwardly order a coffee hi um can I do a medium cold brew with cream please something else that's it and then I take my seat and I get to work on my Asus Vivo book s14 s435 makes it so easy and convenient to work on the go whenever I need to. The laptop design on the Intel Evo platform helps you create, connect, and achieve more. I love the fingerprint option it has to wake the laptop. This laptop is 100% the best laptop to match my lifestyle as an on-the-go entrepreneur. I've been using the Microsoft Suite, specifically Word, on the laptop to write my eBooks lately. And as someone that not only does a ton of copywriting for social media stuff, the performance of the 11th generation Intel Core processors and Intel Iris XE graphics is so nice for YouTube and podcasting. As you can see from some of the specs here, it's so light and thin, which is amazing when you're traveling a lot. The noise canceling mic and the battery life has saved me on the road with podcasting. A big majority of my day is spent on Outlook sending emails for like brand collaborations or just scheduling podcasts. Seriously, I understand what being an adult is like now sending so many emails in my life or responding to comments, looking at my old YouTube videos. Since the majority of my day is literally behind a screen, I need it to be seamless into my life and the Intel Evo platform platform brings the perfect combination of performance, responsiveness, connectivity, battery life, and stunning visuals to a new class of sleek, stylish laptops like this one. Not only is the look of this laptop amazing, but it's just so functional. Like using this mobile hotspot has come in so clutch for me on the road. When I'm done for the day, I just pack up this super light laptop back into my bag. The Thunderbolt 4 allows for a clutter-free desk and simplicity by connecting your laptop to power and peripherals with just a single cable. Honestly, I don't even need to charge it every day, which is so nice, but I usually just get home and plug it in anyways. Once we decide that we got enough work done for the morning, we leave the coffee shop and then we, we venture home, you know? We see the sights along the way and <laughs> just enjoy the nice hot New York summer. I'm so sweaty at this point, like dripping sweat. We make it back home and we are so hungry, so we make this kind of disgusting lunch of cold salmon and sauteed spinach. Don't judge me. It is Thursday, which means we have an exciting piece of content coming out today. It is. The podcast definitely takes a while to edit it, but I already did that obviously like earlier in the week I actually set up to like 3 in the morning the other day doing it <laughs> Don't ask me why I did that. I don't know now since it's Thursday and it already launched I have to do an Instagram post for it on our Instagram and Ellie sent me some photos, so 
I'm just gonna go ahead and post it. Oh, also I got a couch. It's not the most comfortable to be honest. It's kind of sucks. It was not that expensive. It's 2 p.m. now. Um, what I've done this morning is I posted about like five TikToks. So I promoted Ellie's episode like on all my social medias and also made some TikToks around it and posted those on Instagram. There's a lot of uh, content creation stuff surrounding the podcast. So I'll insert like a little clip of what I did here, so. <laughs> I know it's coming. Is Luis <laughs> mad that you had that you had to outdo him once again? Oh no. Oh, actually, it's like 2.30, but I have a podcast recording with Courtney Ferrix today at 3.15, and then I'm really going to be cutting it close, so I think I'm going to start getting ready because I'm going to a run class after this, and I was going to go to this media event this morning, which they were like racing a 5K, and I was going to race a 5K, but... Um, since I got such bad sleep, I was like, I'll just do a workout on my own later. So I'm going to some running, they have like woodway treadmills and it's indoors. I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get. I'm going to try to get as much as I can, but I'm doing that as my workout this afternoon. So I'm really excited, honestly. I probably shouldn't be doing a workout, like realistically, like I'm just not really fit to be doing a workout, but I mean, the point of this whole thing, like post collegiate running for me has been about having fun. So. I find um, doing workouts fun every once in a while when I'm just like switching it up and I'm gonna change into this, these clothes, because it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be cutting it really close. Um, we were supposed to record at three, but Courtney is running a little late, so 3.15, oh, yeah, 3.15 it is. And then my class is at 4.30, so um, yeah. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm in the middle of writing some eBooks. I'm gonna whip open the laptop and work on that when I get back, so. Okay, the lighting is absolutely horrendous, but we got the fit on. Shall we put the hair up? Sure. Okay, we did a little, um, this feels like weird. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? What? Okay. Okay, I did a little, uh, little buns back there, but now I have to get ready for the podcast, which it depends on the guest, but since I know Courtney, I'm not like, I don't structure it that much because it is just a conversation, but uh, I should have some sort of, like people ask um, listener questions, so I have to get those ready and everything and just have like a general flow of the conversation, but I just know that I'm gonna get so sweaty during this workout. I'm a heavy sweater, what they say, so. Also, I just filled up this sparkling water with a, uh, Regular water, but now I'm gonna be drenched. That's a decision to move. Okay, running late, of course, as per usual. Walking a half mile, we're warming up. I'll call it that. Oh gosh, car's gonna hit me. Just kidding. I kind of already have a cramp walking. This bodes well for an indoor treadmill workout. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I had a cramp. Well, I do right now. I genuinely have a cramp. How do I have a cramp? I've never had a cramp in my life. That is a lie. <laughs> Blatant lie right there. That's not true. I've had cramps, but not for years. And not walking. I'm about to get after it. Better go away. Welcome back. Never been here, but thank you. It's so quiet in here. Let me go in there and get after it. I'll report back. Crushed it. It was fun. Um, I only got in three and a half miles, which is definitely not a good mileage day, but we did some intervals. I did a little incline on the treadmill, which I haven't done in. I don't even remember the last time I did incline on the tread. So it was fun, definitely something, definitely like something I'll do to switch it up. And there's like a little strength session after, but got the heart rate pumping, low mileage day. Probably gonna have to make that up tomorrow. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna walk back home, post an Instagram that I just took. Okay, I got home and it's time to make some dinner. It's uh, almost 6.30 and I'm making these wraps. I've been obsessed with wraps lately. This just has, uh, Little wheat tortillas with cheese, some cilantro avocado dressing, some roasted chicken, corn, cucumber, and then I'm gonna put some spinach on there. 
and then I just eat them like tacos. And then I also just got a package and I never know what is coming in the mail anymore. Dinner. <laughs> Giant pile of spinach. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take a shower now. I am really sweaty and I need to shower before I do anything else, but I feel like I've been a recluse today. I haven't really seen anyone, so it's 7 p.m. and I'm not gonna see anyone else today. So, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna hang out with people tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about it, but today's, I woke up late, so I'm gonna have to work late tonight. I'm gonna work on my ebook, and then I have to finish up a YouTube video, so, woo, we got a lot of work to do, fellas, but that's the joy of being self-employed. The grind never stops. The clock never stops. Um, my apartment is also so messy. I really need to clean it, but for now, one step at a time, and we're gonna shower, so here we go. I'm not taking you with me. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, I just did a quick little rinse off in the shower because I have so much to do tonight. I actually procrastinate. I'm getting ahead on writing the copy for Courtney's episode <laughs> next week, but I really need to edit a YouTube video actually, but you know what? We're doing what we can. I literally haven't charged this laptop all day. It's still like almost fully charged. I think that's the thing I love the most about the laptop is the battery life. Like I said before, I really highly recommend for anyone that is in my position that's like a self-employed content creator, or if you're just a young student and you want a really good laptop, the Asus VivoBook S14 S435 powered by Intel Evo. All you have to do is look for the Intel Evo sticker and you'll be sure to get a good quality laptop. Check out the Asus VivoBook S14 S435 powered by Intel Evo now by clicking the link in my description box. I really need to get back to work. I mean, I guess this is considered work, isn't it? I'm filming a YouTube video. Time for bed. It is one in the morning. I took a shower and then I got into bed and I just scrolled on my phone for like hours, so. Productive Emma mode activated. Well, thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you all. Am I crying? What is that? I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, fellas.